Hello, me fixing everything here. I want to show you today this laser distance meter. Well, I was thinking it's a laser ruler, but never mind, it's 70 meters uh, model. I got the same one, cheaper, 50 meters and more expensive, 100 and 120 meters. When I was buying, when I was buying the unit, I was thinking what I'm gonna use it for, and uh, I couldn't think of anything that's longer than seventy meters. Really, I never needed seventy meters measuring measurement. But if you need one, there is options for a hundred and hundred and twenty. So uh, I bought it from uh, AliExpress. Unfortunately, it was such a long time ago that I don't remember the price but if you're really interested uh, you can check it by yourself in the website it comes with this cardboard box with a bag if you want to use a bag I keep it in the box for now if I get really used to it I might not even keep it in the box so uh, it comes with <clears throat> does it come with batteries let's see I don't know no it doesn't come with batteries these are my own batteries two AAA batteries yeah power less than a milliwatt lambda 635 nanometers is that the is that the unit maybe oh that's the characteristics so what I like of it The way to stop it, this button, the way to start it, the red button. Okay. So you can measure just a straight line. Oh, that's bright. That's very bright. As you can see, the screen illuminates. Let's... Uh... Okay. So you can measure the distance. One meters, one meter, fifty centimeters, and nine millimeters. Or is that the? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the distance. How do you change it? I think I need to be more prepared of it. So let's uh, let's do it again. What what happens if uh, okay so that's in meters? You press once to point where we want to measure. So we're pointing right there, and press twice. One meter and thirty nine centimeters. There we go. Okay, so it can do uh, the, the thing I like it for. It can automatically calculate the square meters of the room so let's say if that's the room 1 meter 39 by 58 0 0.8 of a square meter it can also measure the volume of the of the room by pressing this button 141 57 241 so we got 1.94 cubic meters there we go what else it can do measurements for you without you using a formula what does it need oh it needs this side first Okay, there we go. You can measure a side wall of a building just from the side of it. You can measure from the bottom and you can measure, let's say if you're sitting in the middle, you can do it with three measurements. Uh, you got nice illumination. I really liked 
the the way that let me zoom out the way that you got these levels on the side so if you're holding if you're holding the the ruler the meter <laughs> by the side of the wall you can you can try to be leveled or you can try to be leveled on this side as well and it's analog because there was there was a model with um digital ones what's the point of having a digital one where you can have an analog well you can have another lock uh measurement tool but we got digital ones so i tested when i got it i tested it with a with a ruler and it was pretty accurate on one meter there was no difference between the uh, measurements analog and digital what else you can measure from the back of the tool or from the from the front some of them got the option to be able to measure from the middle and this one does not but i don't i don't really need i don't really need an option like this one ah you can see half a half a battery i used it for a few times after i had it you got an option to uh, to save to save the measurements okay one ah so you can see the last measurements okay nice one Did we clear all of them? Yeah, we did. Okay. So 81, 160, 175, 175, 82. Okay, so it's showing all the last measurements. Hmm. Never mind, I'm sure you're gonna figure it out. And that's the best thing to say when you're doing a review in it. Never mind. Okay, what else? Oh, I can do a minimum and maximum. So at the moment we're from uh, 80 centimeters from the wall and now 74. So you don't need to press the button all the time. It will show it continuously by the time you're working with it. Nice little tool. I think uh, for long distance measurements, like a whole room, for example, let's uh, Let's do it from this side. Oh, I can do it here. It will give an error when uh, when the point it's uh, it's too shaky. There we go, three meters. If we need to measure that with a normal ruler, good luck. To take a sages, maybe like 15 seconds, but with this one it's easy. So a nice little toy, especially for construction work. Not very delicate. If you're gonna measure something less than a meter, I don't think it's worth the hassle, but more than two and a half meters, definitely. Definitely. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And subscribe. If you like what you see, I uh, hope I was helpful for you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.